to replace an emergency brake cable on a 2000 Volkswagen Golf. This happens to be a standard shift, although I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, but in any case, that's what this is. So the process begins by jacking up your car, removing your wheel, and the emergency brake cable attaches uh, on the back of the caliper here. So here's a look at where the emergency brake cable attaches to the back of the brake caliper. And it travels up along the bottom of the car. Here, here's where it attaches, here's the front view of where it attaches to the, to the uh, rear caliper. And then travels up along here. Okay, so one of the first things we have to do is, um, is remove the console in back that surrounds the, um, the emergency brake lever. So the first thing we have to do is remove the console that surrounds the emergency brake lever. So that goes from here all the way back to here. And here's your sh the shift lever. Uh, so, the first, so what you need to do is remove two screws in the front and two screws in the back. And the screws in the front uh, and the screws in the back are all Torx head screws. So you need a T15 Torx head socket and, and remove the screw on this side. It was already pre-loosened. And then also remove the uh, identical screw from the opposite side. So if we just go over the top here and look, there's one over here as well. So remove this screw and the screw that I started out with. Alright, and next we go to the back of the console. So what I'm going to do is take the take the seat and move it forward. Okay, so next we go to the back of the console and we open up a minute. We're going to open up this little coin holder or whatever you want to call it, okay, and take this tray, remove it, and underneath the tray there are two openings. As you can see, I've already uh, extended the coffee, uh, the coffee cup holder, and there are two openings, and at the bottom of each one of these openings is also a Torx head screw just identical to the front. So you've got to remove those two screws next. Once the screws are removed, the two screws in the front and the two screws in the back, we should be able to just lift the console right out. So let's see, and there, and there it goes. So we can uh, lift this out and see if we can get it past. I'm going to lift that emergency brake cable as high as I can get it here and see if we can get this up out of the way. Now you can see we've got the console way up out of the way, we've got the emergency brake lever, and now we can see down here where the two emergency brake cables are attached. So there's the uh, driver side and the passenger side, and they're both held in by this, by this clamp, and furthermore held in by this nut. So what I'm going to do next is take the tension off the lever, so, sorry about the lighting. So I'm going to let the lever down. And then, uh, we'll be, we can actually just sort of pull this lever down to the side and free up the, the, uh, the end of the driver's side emergency brake cable. So here it is. Now we'll go underneath the car and pull this right out. You can also see, maybe, see, you see this, this tube that the emergency brake cable is going into is actually a metal tube and you'll see, see it underneath the car how it, it goes towards the back of the car and curves a little bit. But 
obviously we'll have to put the new cable in through the same tube. But meanwhile we have to pull this bad one out. Okay, now since we've disattached the front end of this cable from the emergency brake lever, there should be no tension on this now. So, as you can see, you can just pull, pull this thing freely because it's not attached on the other end. So we can just take this, move it up off this, uh, off this little clamp here and get it out of the way. Then we'll take a little screwdriver, pry this little clip off, and, uh, and free up the end of the emergency brake cable. Okay, so here we go. So now the emergency brake cable is freed from the caliper, and then we just have to move along. We just have to move along the bottom of the car and free it from. There's a you see there's like a little clamp here, so we'll free it from there, and then we'll try to pull it out of that conduit that leads it into the where the lever is. So here's the little clip that holds the emergency brake cable on. About, uh, I don't know, a foot and a half forward of where the caliper is. And you can see it's just sort of a friction fit. So you just have to play around with these little tabs. Which I'm not having a whole lot of success with while I'm holding this camera. first clip and then you move up about eight or nine inches then you have this other clip that we can just work this line around okay and that settles that okay now moving forward you can see a connection right here where it goes from being flexible into the metal pipe so you can see here where the emergency brake line goes in this is the beginning of that metal conduit that we saw the edge of on the other side. So, um, so what we have to do now is try to get the emergency brake cable out of this conduit. So I'm going to get a pair of pliers and try to twist this so I can try to break it free from the rusty tube. Okay, so now you can see I pull the metal conduit up off, off this clip and use the screwdriver to tw try to twist it out. But the rubber part um, essentially broke so that part of the rubber is inside the conduit. But meanwhile, I can pull, as you can see, I can pull the emergency brake cable out most of the way. And here we are almost to the end. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to cut this and maybe drill that rubber part out to get the, the bottom part of this uh, conduit clean. So I think this is a pretty common problem with the, with the old emergency brake cables is that just with the rust near the end of the tube that you end up with this kind of problem. So meanwhile, I think what I'm going to do is cut this and then see if I can get a small drill up there and drill the, the extra rubber out. Had this come out cleanly, then all we'd have to do is insert the new emergency brake cable up through the conduit and then just reattach everything. Okay, so that's what the metal conduit looks like with the emergency brake cable pulled through. Okay, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to twist that metal conduit underneath and just remove it from the car and it'll make it a little bit easier to drill the old rubber piece out. I'm going to just wiggle this conduit and see if I can get it out.
Okay, so I just pulled it out, and there's the uh, the part of the conduit that we saw up in the uh, in the interior of the car where the console was. So basically, I just pulled this whole metal conduit out, and that will make it easier to drill the old rubber part out of this end of it. Okay, so to begin with, to make to make life a little bit easier, I pushed the emergency brake cable back through the metal conduit and down here you can see the end. This is the end that was inside under the console of the car. So what I'm going to do is just uh, cut this piece off and then pull the cable back out so well, at least I know none of this is inside the, inside the pipe. They work real well for this. Okay, gone. And now we should be able to just pull this cable all the way out. Okay, and that's that. And now you can see that black area there is rubber that's left over from the old emergency brake cable. That sort of pretty much does it. And now I've got one little bit bigger drill. This is 21 64ths. It's almost a perfect fit. Help clean the hole out a little bit better. Look, you can actually see, and there, and there is the actual end of the emergency brake cable that I just drilled out. Okay, so that was what was inside the pipe, and that's the, you know, the missing part that was broken off. So now the pipe should be essentially clean inside, which it is. Just a little bit of rust, but not too bad. I think I gotta put my camera down. The rubber grommet here in the camera. And uh, you just feed the line through that. And then I have my beautiful wife up above telling me if it's going in right into where the hole is. Okay, so there it is. So it's back in there. It's not, you're right, it's not totally through just has to go a little bit further. Oh, you pushed it, it through. Yep, that's it. Because it only goes a little way. Yep, it's that there, there. Okay, and I got it in the clamp. That's great. There she goes. Bye. Okay, so here's my new emergency brake cable from AutoZone. And uh, we'll install it now. The end of the the end of the emergency brake cable run it through the uh, through the caliper so it'll come over here and we're going to clip that in behind the caliper but meanwhile we got to get that squeeze the boot back up. Okay so then we just Get this cable, flip it around so it's back behind the caliper. Push it all the way down. I can't film this and do this at the same time. So that's reinstalled. And then I'm going to go back and secure the, the top of the cable. And then finally I'm going to put that last little clip on that's uh, lying on the floor over there. Okay, so that's it. So we're all we're all reconnected. And now I can put that bottom 
clip on and then if necessary um, I can tighten this nut just to, I think I should tight and I think I will just tighten this little nut a little bit so that there's no just no free play because with the with the uh, emergency brake lever down it seems to me this should just be a little bit tighter than this just snug but not obviously not pulling on the cables so now I'm just going to go down fix that clip this nut up a little bit to complete the installation okay and the installation is done I hope you learned something from the video 